Okay, Zach, so you've had quite an outstanding season in the AHL with the Charlotte Checkers so far this year. You're one of the top rookie point scorers in the league, so talk about your season to date. Um, I think it's obviously been a little bit uh, kind of up and down for me being a first-year guy. Um, you know, coming from college, only played 35 games, so, um, you know, it's my first year, so I've already played about 60, so it's kind of been going, uh, you know, it's kind of a whirlwind, but I think I'm uh, managing it well and just trying to stay consistent at the moment. And you've been up and down between uh, with the Hurricanes in the NHL and, and back down again. Is it sometimes difficult for you having to going back up and down all the time? Um, I mean, not really. I love it. I think it's uh, it's all part of the process. And, you know, you, you hear horror stories about guys going up 10 times in their first year. So I can't complain with the amount that's been going on and uh, hopefully more to come. With Carolina, you got to play in your first NHL games overseas how unbelievable of an experience was that for you? Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was something else. It was kind of one of those things where I didn't think I was going to be nervous at all. I wasn't nervous during the whole day, and as soon as I stepped on the edge for warm-up, I could uh, <laughs> barely handle the puck. So it was, uh, it was great. It was kind of unfortunate my parents weren't there, but they kind of got to relive the moment uh, back home on TV, so it was awesome. But your parents were there for your first goal, correct? No, they were not. They were... Well, they were trying to get there, but uh, it, it didn't work out. But they've been to a, a couple games now, so it's been good to see them. Um, so with your first goal, you had quite the, the memorable goal celebration. Uh, t- talk a bit about that. Was that one planned, or was that just a spur-of-the-moment thing? Yeah, I've been hearing grief for that. Um, it was quite the hop. I, I, don't, I don't remember doing it. That's the thing. It's kind of one of those things where you're in the moment, and you could rehearse it as many times as you want, but I didn't, didn't see it going over that way. But it was awesome. Uh, so you and I both come from the same hometown of, of Paris, Ontario, pretty small town. And I, I don't know how many people actually know this, but you were actually cut from uh, the Junior C squad there when you were younger. Talk about how you overcame that adversity and now you're a professional hockey player. Yeah, actually, I was telling somebody that the other day. I think I was uh, 14 years old. Um, used to be the stick boy for the Paris Mounties, and it was my dream to play for him, and then it didn't happen. and um, Almost quit hockey. And then uh, kind of, like you said, overcame some adversity and, and got some luck. I grew a little bit, so, you know, more people were starting to notice my skills. And, and it doesn't help to be a little bit taller, too, at that age. So it's uh, it's been going great. It's Like I said, it's been kind of a whirlwind uh, couple, you know, five, six years. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't take anything back. So aside from the most obvious moments, your first goal, your first game, what would you say has really stood out to you behind the scenes as your your wow, I, I kind of, I kind of, I made it moment. I think just uh, kind of the everyday uh, living life as a, as a professional hockey player. Um, you know, when you're at school, it's different. You got, you know, you got to study and do all that stuff like a regular student. And then, you know, you sign as a professional and you have to find things to fulfill your days. And, and, you know, especially with the NHL, all these private planes and nice hotels, that's kind of a well moment for me. And, um, it's something that I definitely want to get used to, that's for sure. Great. Okay, so we're going to uh, have a, lighten things up a bit here and play a game of, of Would You Rather. Okay. So uh, I'd like to ask you, would you rather score the game winner or uh, deliver a big open ice hit? Yeah, I'm not the – I don't throw many, very many hits. <laughs> but uh, I know it's kind of a cliche answer, but whatever it takes to get the team going. But I love, love game-winning goals, so I'd go with that one. Good. Uh, would you rather dress up or dress down? Dress up. Would you rather win a Lady Bang or a Maurice Richard trophy? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Whatever whatever can get me up on that stage doing a speech. I, I'm a goal scorer, so the Maurice would be awesome. Uh, would you rather go to see a Kid Rock concert or a Carrie Underwood concert? Carrie Underwood. Would you rather drive a car or a truck? Uh, I, I, I drive a truck now, so I'll, I'll stick with that. And last one for you. Would you rather room with uh, Hurricanes Jeff Skinner or Eric Stahl? Uh, I know I know Stahl pretty well, but Skinner, uh, he makes me feel uh, like I'm funny. The kid laughs at everything, so I'll go with, I'll go with Skinny. Great. Thanks, Zach. No problem.